Hi, Peter Charles here of Hooked Fly Fly Fishing. And today we're going to tie the Black Gordon. Uh, this is a fairly straightforward fly, except that it requires two colors in the body. So it's a, if you've never done this before, it's a great opportunity to give it a try. Uh, other than that, it's pretty well a, a plain black fly. And uh, I've not been a big user of flies that are just black and red. Usually if I, I'm combining these colors, I also add some purple in it as well. But I know some people are really like black and red flies. So, you know, if you count yourself amongst those, here's a great fly for you, the Black Gordon. So, let's get looking at the materials. The hook we're using is a size 2 salmon single. Our thread is an 8 aught black. Our tag and rib is a gold and a medium oval. The back of the body is red floss. And the front two thirds of the body is black floss. We have black hackle, and the wing is black bucktail. So, let's get tying. Now, because we're putting a lot of yarn over this, I don't have to worry about the underbody being neat. It's not like tying a floss or a tinsel body. So, we can use lots of shortcuts. The tag is not very big, uh, and we're going to... Uh, Fold it so we can continue to use it as the ribbing. Try not to let too much black throw, show through. Okay, that's all we need for uh, a tag. Wind that forward. Now fold it back underneath and wind back to the tag. Now that's locked in place and we can reuse it for the body. The next step is the red floss. Get good coverage over the bump. Uh, keep the wraps close together. Now we're only going to do one third of the body in red. So we stop about there. We want this as even as possible. Now, you see how I'm a little bit lumpy there at the back, so I'm just going to come back with a, another pass just to even that up. And that's it. That's a little bit more even. Now we tie in the black floss. So let's take a moment to look at this body. I've got a little bit of a ramp at the back. It's level through the middle, and then it just ramps off down at the front. And we want that ramp at the front to help keep that wing as low as possible. We don't want to be sticking right up in the air like that. If I made a very, very abrupt finish to this body, I'd end up with a wing like that. So the next step is to put in our rib. you want, you can fold this forward. Some people like to do that. I'll show you just the fact that some people like to fold their ribs forward like that under the hook. That's, that's one way to do it. If you're tying really classic patterns and you're trying to be really neat, putting the rib under the hook like that, it gets it out of the way. Okay, now we're tying our black hackle. Fold these barbs over, pinch them against the quill, so when we wrap they fall backwards along the hook shank. No, it didn't break off. Well, I'll just come in and trim it. This one was a little thicker. You'll see a lot of tires, myself included, will try to break the uh, quill off instead of cutting it. And the reason for that is if you break it off, it tends to break underneath the thread and is the, the little stub is hidden. 
if you cut it off with scissors, there's always a little bit of a lump there that ends up sticking through and making your head look ugly. Um, but, you know, if it doesn't break, it doesn't break. You've got to live with it. All right, now the uh, bucktail. We're going to stack it. And always check it. Make sure you don't have a stray or two in there that's going at odd angles. Size it. You got a couple of wraps in there. Check it. Oh, it's a little long. Let's pull it a little bit. Okay. Get some tight wraps in there so it won't move. Whip finish. There we go, our Black Gordon. You can see what I was talking about by creating that ramp. My wing is not sticking way up in the air. And frankly, I think a fly that has its wing lower down swims better than one that's stuck up like that. I realize stylistically a lot of flies are not tied that way. And it's your choice if you want to have that wing that's up at more of an angle. But for me, this sort of style fish is better. So anyway, the Black Gordon. Give it a try if you like black and red for a color scheme. And it's a good looking fly. It should swim well and fish well. Cheers.